Hello and welcome back to a new video and a new session in our continued journey of trying to master permutations and combinations and even more simply put we know the topic is all about counting counting in how many ways something can be done and even more specifically our today's agenda is going to be in how many ways can we arrange a set of letters given to us so let's start with a very basic example just to understand the problem say I give you the word toe and I ask you in how many ways can the letters of this word be rearranged to form new words the meaning of the words is not important just in how many ways can this be reorganized so I have the word toe I have to get over that it means toe and look at the letters involved so I have T O E let's try and create the various scenarios so I will have T O E first position second position third position T E O I would have O E T or O T E and then lastly if I go for E I would have E O T and E T O right so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 I can manually count it this can be done in 6 possible ways so this is just to understand what we mean by the problem first of all secondly I notice that isn't this the same as the kind of problems a lot of problems that we have already done arranging three numbers in three positions right and we figured out a way of doing this this can be done in three ways this can be done in two ways and this can be done in one way so 3 into 2 into 1 or 3 factorial why are we multiplying what do we mean by this 3 in a circle we mean ways of doing something how many ways of filling this position how many ways of filling this position and multiplying them why because we are talking about the and rule that means I have to fill this position and this position and this position we have done this a lot in the previous video so it is highly recommended that you do it and then come to this point so we are arranging 7 8 9 into 3 factorial possibilities so the same logic will apply for the, uh, for the arranging of letters also so it is identical to the problems we have seen so far so far that means if I say in how many ways can I form a 3 letter word I know that for the first position I will have 3 possibilities T O or E one of them will go to this position that means for the next one I will have only two possibilities one of them will go to the second position that means for the last one the last person will simply come and sit which means one possibility so this is the same as the previous problem if I call it if I call them Tushar, uh, Oscar and uh, Emmy, uh, Emma let's give them three names now there are three friends Tushar, Oscar and Emma and you want to arrange them into three positions in how many ways can you do it you can do it into three into two into one right so so far this arranging the letter problem is like just like the arranging the numbers problem it is also like arranging the people's problem right so so far there is no difference that means the fundamental logic involved is the same so now we move into okay what is the difference right because we saw numbers brought their own problems and situations when we were talking about friends sometimes friends preferences brought their problems and situations now we'll see what happens if we think purely in terms of letters what is the problem area that we need to deal with and that will teach us a lot it will teach us a whole new skill of uncounting we have been counting so far now we'll uncount that means we'll go from this count to a lower count right so to understand how the problem might be different from the arranging people and arranging numbers scenario I give you the word 2 right T O O and I ask you in how many ways can you organize this or rearrange this and you will use the same logic you will say there are three positions I am talking about three letter words you will have three possibilities two possibilities and one possibilities and multiply them and you get the answer as three factorial so I am using the same logic that I use for arranging numbers and people and straight away I got my answer as three factorial but is that answer correct and let's try it out and let's try and arrange manually and that is why being able to think off the table helps a lot to uh, clarify basic concepts so if I try and rewrite this what all can I rewrite as TOO or OTO or OOT think about it if you have TOO these are the only three possibilities 
So why am I counting three factorial, which is six possibilities here? What is going wrong, right? So first of all, it's very important that you understand. Try it for yourself. If you, if I give you T O O and I ask you how many unique words can you form, this is it. T O O or O T O or O O T, right? So your answer is coming as six, but your actual answer that I see logically, purely, truly, empirical, empirically, is that the value is three. Three ways of arranging this. So what is the problem, and how do I jump from here to here? What should I do to six to get to three? And the answer should be fairly easy. It should be divided by two, right? Just just mathematically, if you want to go from six to three, what is happening? You're dividing it by two to get to three. And what is happening? Why why is not that working? And what were we counting when we said six ways? What we are thinking of it as? We are thinking of it as two o one and o two, like three different people. But these are not people. These are just letters. So if you wrote T O one O two, T O two O one, O one T O two, O one O two T, O two T O one, and O two O one T, one two three four five six. So when you say three factorial, you are counting these six ways, right? Now notice what happens if I remove the marking of O1 and O2 because they are not O1 and O2; they are just O's. So what will happen? What I was counting as two will become one. These were two possible ways. Now it has become one. If I remove the markings, all of them, what do I see? OTO and OTO. Once again, what was two ways is becoming one way, right? O O T and O O T again two ways is it, they are the same way. That means two of them are becoming one. Earlier, what was happening? Let's say when we had, uh, if I told you that you had three shirts, right? And I asked you in how many ways can you dress? Your answer would be three ways. But then when I added pants and I said, okay, you have pants also. Your each way got split into two, so you were multiplying. You were going from three to six. Why? Because each shirt scenario now got pant one or pant two. So the splitting, you were multiplying. The merging, therefore, you should divide, right? And divide by what number? Whatever is the error causing number. You were thinking of them as two different ways. So the question would be: If I just gave you two people, in how many ways can you organize them? Two factorial ways organize them, right? But that is a miscount, right? That means you should take the number and divide by that two factorial number because in your counting, what you are doing is you are thinking of A B and B A, but you did not need to do it because A and B are equal or O and O are equal to each other, right? So try and grasp this logic. This is the fundamental issue with arranging numbers. And another idea that we are learning is uncounting, right? And compare it with the shirt and pant example. Three scenarios became six scenarios. You multiplied by two. Six scenarios are becoming three scenarios. You are dividing by two. In this scenario, one situation got split into two. Here, two situations are merging into one. So therefore, you divide the number, right? So this is the core logic. If you see the formula and it says some factorial divided by whatever number, this is the logic behind it. Why you are dividing? Because your count was extra. Where you were counting two, you should count one. That mathematically means divided by two. So let's try one more example and try and come to a method or a formula for such a thing. So let's start with another example. And I say the word given to you is brood. B R O O D. And the question is, in how many ways can you reorganize the letters of this word into a five-letter word? Before we start with this, once again, let me start with a simpler example. If the word was clasp, my straightaway answer would be five factorial, because this is nothing but a question of five friends sitting in five positions, or five different numbers occupying five different positions. Repetition not allowed. So the same logic. You can draw it out quickly. The first position would have five ways. The second position would have four ways, three ways, two ways, one ways, and you multiply to get to five factorial. 
this process trade one should be getting faster as we progress through the chapters right now i use the same logic here and i say okay five ways four ways three ways two ways and one ways my answer once again so far is five factorial ways but by now i should know there is a problem in my counting and what is the problem in my counting of five factorial i'm thinking of o1 and o2 as separate things that means in any situation i'm thinking o1 and o2 and then i'm thinking o2 and o1 however both of them are simply double o's so wherever i am counting twice it is basically once that means my overall number should be divided by 2 the same logic you want to look for a specific example of it so think of a part of the table say you create b b r o1 o2 in this five factorial you are also saying b b r o2 o1 but both of them are nothing but d b r o o so something that has been counted twice is only once so you divided by 2 right so repeating the same example and looking at two parallel examples to understand when it is like the standard problem and when do i have to uncount i have double counted so i have to remove that count by uh, dividing it right so even here in this example we are still dividing it by 2 only let's move to a situation where there are three letter, letters repeating because that will give us even more insight about what we are doing with the process so to better understand this logic let's move to an example where something is repeating thrice so let me create an imaginary name let's say bhumiko sounds like a bengali name so the name is bhumiko and my agenda was trying to create a word which has three letters repeating so now the question is in how many ways can this be reorganized into words and how many letters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the question is how many ways can the letters of this word bhumiko be reorganized into eight letter words right if i don't worry about the oos i know my answer straight away is going to be eight factorial why because there are eight positions this would have eight way seven way six way da 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 the logic we have already done a lot of number of times so i know eight factorial ways but what is the problem in this eight factorial when i am thinking of this eight factorial i am thinking or assuming that these o's are very distinct from each other that means i am counting them as three o's for a minute think of three different o's how many ways of reorganizing them you would say three factorial ways of reorganizing them right how and what would be the scenarios o1 o2 o3 o1 o3 o2 and all the six scenarios right but all of those six scenarios are nothing but o o and o only so what are you doing from three factorial ways which would be this you are going to one way what are you doing you are basically going from three factorial to one how will you go about it you will have to divide it by three factorial that means where i should have counted one way i have accidentally counted three factorial ways how do i fix it to come back to the problem i divide it by three factorial so the problem in this counting of eight factorial was this o1 o2 and o3 was being counted six times for any scenario that means it should be divided six times or even more simply three factorial times why the factorial why am i not saying six and the three factorial so that you understand this o1 o2 o3 can be done in six ways so any scenario which was one was counted six times divided by six times but that six has come from three factorial which is in how many ways can you organize three people or three distinct things create a scenario uh, just to understand it in even more detail say i remove all the other letters on one side say i say b h k i m and o o o right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 everything taken care of so this is one way but in my eight factorial counting i'm thinking b h k i m o1 o2 o3 then i'm thinking b h k i m o1 o3 o2 then i'm thinking b h k i m o2 o1 o3 
and so on and so forth. How many times will I rewrite this? I will write it six times because O1, O2, O3 can be rewritten six times. But did I need to write it six times? No. Or three factorial times? No. Therefore, I divide my original count by the repeating scenario number. And that also not just the number, the factorial of the number. Why? Because the question is, how many times have you counted extra and divide by that number? Right? Let's look at one more example to complicate the situation slightly more. But this time we'll not go and create all the scenarios. The word is pontoon. Now what is happening here is we have the O's repeating. We also have a N repeating. So how do I deal with this? I already know the logic. Count the number of letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I would say if there were distinct things, there would be 7 factorial ways of organizing it. But the problem in this 7 factorial is what should be one way because of the O's has been counted 3 factorial times. That means I should divide it by 3 factorial. So I'm using the same logic that we just learned earlier, right? But there is a repeating N also. That means something that should have been counted once should has been counted twice or 2 factorial times. So write a 2 factorial, that means you're dividing. So overall, what should have been counted once has been counted 12 times. And you can create the situation fairly easily. Remove all the non-repeating ones, you will say PT, right? And you will say O, 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 N, N. So first, these O1, O2, O3 will create six scenarios. And for each of those O1, O2, O3, this would be N1, N2 and N2, N1. So you have counted what should have been counted once, you have counted 12 times. Or just extend the logic, you have already understood the logic by uh, hopefully by now. So now just use it like a formula once you have grasped the core concept and straight away just divide it by the repeating letters and the factorial of them. And hopefully it should be clear by now why there is a factorial, why is there is something in the denominator. So essentially the arranging of letters is exactly almost like the arranging of numbers or arranging of people. What is the difference here? If there are repeating letters, something is being counted extra very many number of times. So to compensate for that, we divide the number just the way earlier to count from one to multiple scenarios, we were multiplying the numbers, right? So this is the core idea of trying to play with the arrangement of letters. In the next session, we'll try the practice problems and throw in more scenarios which we have learned from arranging people, let's say. Where I'll say, okay, no, all the N's should always be together or all the O's and N's should always be together just like the friends were together. So more scenarios will be created and infinite scenarios can be created for problem creating. But step by step, our core idea today for the day should be uncounting. There was something being counted extra very many number of times. You are reducing the count by dividing it. Because as we move to the next session, we'll be using this idea to create a difference between understanding selection versus arrangement or moving into finely permutation and combination and understanding the difference between them. So you will see from going from combination to permutation, you have to multiply and going from permutation to combination, you have to divide. And this is the foundation of that idea which is going to happen soon. right? So this is it for the day. I hope all of this made sense. Uh, and now you can try out a few practice problems. So see you really soon.